Let's get right into this one. I see it done really badly by newbies all the time, and it's easy to lose sight of what this exercise is all about. We're looking to target the lats here. To do that effectively, we need to do a few things. One, we need to keep our shoulders packed. This will keep your shoulders, which are a floating joint, safe against the load. Bring the shoulders up, back, then down as far as possible in each of those movements, and you should be in a position like the one in the video, chest popped out, shoulders back and down. Two, we need to keep our upper body stable, no rocking back and forth as we pull. This isn't an exercise for the lower back. Use your core musculature to stabilize you and keep you in place. Three, we need to pull through the elbows, letting them glide against the side of our body as much as we can. This will keep the focus on the lats and the rhomboids. Four, breathe. You can't do work if you don't breathe. The Valsalva maneuver has its place, but its place isn't here, not for most of you. Breathe through the motions. I often see people letting their shoulders cave as they do this exercise or rocking back and forth. I personally and professionally don't see the point in it and think of it as the wrong approach. Why? When it comes to the rocking, it's simple. Like I said, this isn't a lower back exercise. Want to work the lower back? Go do lower back extensions on the machine or supermans on the floor. When it comes to the shoulders, the vast majority of people don't have the strength or skill necessary to put their shoulders back into position properly every rep, especially under a challenging load. There are other, more simple ways to target that appropriately with the right amount of weight without compromising the fundamental purpose of this lift. It's also unnecessarily risky. Like I said, your shoulder is a floating joint, so it's held in place by muscles, some of which are quite small and not really meant to deal with heavy load. The caving and resetting of the shoulders exposes those smaller muscles to the possibility of having to take on load that they really shouldn't, which could lead to an injury. The thing about shoulder injuries is that it compromises so many movements in and out of the gym. So why risk it? Just pack the shoulder, stay safe against the load, and allow yourself a much higher chance to live an easier life, lift without issue for much longer, and see more gains in the long run. That approach makes way more sense to me. The trickiest part will be managing the full extension of the arms while avoiding the caving of the shoulders. Take the exercise slow to start and feel it out. No need to rush. Hold your shoulder position, extend the arms until straight, then slowly pull them back in. Once you feel you have the hang of it, feel free to move to a more natural or normal tempo of about 202. If that made no sense to you, let me know in the comments and I'll do a video on tempo soon. That does it for this Technique Tube video. If you enjoyed that or found it useful, throw down a like and a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join the galaxy. And as always, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.